Hello, my name is Liad Vesa. I'm a professor here at Brock University, a member of the Environmental Sustainability Research Center, as well as the UNESCO Chair in Community Sustainability Local from, uh, from Local to Global. Uh, and today I will be talking about what we call ecosystem-based adaptation to climate change. So most of you probably know that if we take our planet and we can make a nice drawing of it. With human activities, we know now that we have been, in fact, increasing the concentration of CO2, which has changed the climate, especially in terms of temperature, as well as precipitation patterns. However, we know that if we don't stop, at one point, burning fossil fuel, which are the main cause of uh, greenhouse uh, emission, and the, therefore climate change, we will gradually have a serious problem. So mitigation is one way to reduce greenhouse emission, and this is needed. We still continue to need that. But at the same time, because we know that climate is changing and it's not going to turn back immediately, it will take a while, and in fact, it's not even sure that it will be reversible. We need also to think about what we call adaptation. So what is adaptation? Is any type of adjustment, decision making, uh, changes, it can be even transformation in some communities that will lead people and ecosystem to be better adapted, so better respond to the changes that are happening because of climate change. So when we look at adaptation, we know that in fact there are many types or many strategies that are possible. One that has been promoted especially by the Union, uh, International Union of Conservation for Nature is what we call ecosystem-based adaptation. Or for short, EBA. And what it is is that we take an approach in which we believe that all the components of the ecosystem, so that means the natural part, the managed part, but also the human, are all part of the system. And they all have to be connected in terms of adaptation strategies. So if you take an ecosystem, you will probably have animals, you may have humans, you may have natural environment, you may have managed environment like, for example, uh, agricultural fields. All of them have to be adapted. It's not the possibility of having, for example, just the human adjusting if the rest is not adjusting in some way or another, or if we leave, the, especially the natural environment, to be able to adapt, so leave them enough way to adapt. How this can be done? But well, there are many ways. It can be, in fact, through protection. So protection of areas that can gradually adapt, especially in terms of the natural work. It may be in terms of restoration. So restoration can be the natural and, and ecosystem, but it can also be the human ecosystem. So the managed ecosystem that is restored to be able to be more capable of respond to the changes over time. So this is especially important when we look at forestry or agricultural system because they will need to adapt. In some cases, it may be a question also of uh, removing some threat or some consideration, some issues, and that can be especially in terms of human infrastructure that are probably stopping the migration of uh, some natural ecosystem. It may be also in terms of retreat. And this is something that is especially important for coastal communities where you have sea level rise. And at one point, the house either will stay in the water or will have to be moved to be still functional for the communities. So there are many ways that it can work. But what is important in all that is that we look at an inclusive aspect. So it often works at the local, territorial, or landscape level, and it includes all people in the community. 
So all actors, not only just a few stakeholders, but all actors have to be part. So it may, brings also an increase in terms of community governance. And it increases also the possibility for people to understand why it's needed to change because of climate change. There are many projects that are currently occurring on this level, and we hope that gradually over time, we can find what are the best practices. However, we have to realize it's often at the local level, even if at the global level, we are trying to do the same thing. Thank you.